Hello and welcome to Selfie Story, the channel that takes you on a journey into the world of intriguing topics and fascinating stories. Today, we're going to explore a topic that is integral to our daily lives, yet often overlooked, the world of numbers. Numbers are everywhere, from the time we wake up and check our clocks, to the bus number we catch to work, to the date on our calendars. But have you ever stopped to think about the power these numbers hold? and how they influence our thoughts, emotions, and decisions? Well, buckle up and get ready for an exciting journey into the captivating world of numbers and their psychological influence. And remember, if you enjoy our content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more amazing stories. Let's get started. Ever wondered why you always seem to check the time at 1111 or why hotel rooms seldom have a 13th floor? Our daily lives are filled with numbers in all shapes and forms. Yet we rarely stop to consider how these numerical symbols influence our thoughts, our emotions, and our decisions. From the moment we learn to count, we start forming associations with numbers. Some numbers, like 7 or 9, might strike us as lucky or special, while others, like 13, might give us pause. We might favor a particular number, perhaps because it's the date of our birthday or simply because we like how it sounds. These associations are not random. They are deeply rooted in our psychology, shaping our perceptions and behaviors in ways we might not even realize. Numbers, it seems, are not just abstract symbols. They carry weight. They tell stories. They influence our lives. Let's delve into the captivating world of numbers and how they play a significant role in our minds and lives. From avoiding the number 13 to favoring 7, our minds often link numbers with luck and fortune. This phenomenon is known as numerical superstition, and it's far more common than you may think. It's the reason why some buildings skip the 13th floor, or why some people consider 7 as their lucky number. But where does this stem from? Let's venture into the realm of different cultures to understand this better. In Western societies, 13 is often considered unlucky, a superstition that harks back to ancient times. The Last Supper, for instance, had 13 attendees, one of whom betrayed Jesus. This historical event has left a lasting imprint on the collective subconscious, leading to an aversion to the number 13. On the other side of the globe, in East Asia, it's the number 4 that's often avoided. This is because the pronunciation of 4 in languages like Chinese and Japanese is eerily similar to the word for death. This phonetic resemblance has instilled a fear of the number 4 to the extent that some buildings in these regions actually omit the fourth floor, but why do our brains cling to these superstitions? Well, it all boils down to two psychological phenomena, confirmation bias and pattern recognition. Confirmation bias is our tendency to favor information that confirms our existing beliefs. So, if you believe that the number 7 is lucky, and then win a lottery with a 7 in your ticket number, your belief gets reinforced. Pattern recognition, on the other hand, is our brain's way of making sense of the world. It's always on the lookout for patterns, even when none exist. This is why we associate certain numbers with certain outcomes, even if it's just a coincidence. These psychological phenomena, combined with cultural influences, give birth to numerical superstitions. They shape our perceptions and influence our decisions, often in subtle ways we don't even realize. So, it seems our brains are naturally hardwired to find patterns and meanings, even when there aren't any. Beyond superstitions, numbers can also influence our daily decisions and judgments. Let's delve into this fascinating concept. We might like to think we're rational beings, making sound choices based on logic and reasoning, but our perceptions and decisions are often subtly swayed by numbers. This is particularly evident in areas such as pricing psychology and the significance we attach to age milestones. Pricing psychology is a compelling example. Ever noticed how products are often priced at 99 cents or $99 instead of a round number? This is no accident. Research shows that we perceive $99 as significantly less than $100, even though the difference is just $1. Our brains tend to focus on the first number we see, the 9 in this case, making the price seem cheaper. Age milestones like turning 30, 40, or 50 also wield a psychological impact. These round numbers often serve as markers of life progression, prompting us to evaluate our accomplishments and set new goals. They can trigger significant decisions like changing careers, starting a family, or even buying a sports car. This brings us to the concept of anchoring. Anchoring refers to our tendency to rely heavily on the first piece of information we encounter, the anchor, when making decisions. 
For instance, if you first see a shirt priced at $50 and then find a similar one for $30, you're likely to perceive the second shirt as a bargain. That initial $50 price tag serves as an anchor, influencing your subsequent judgments. Numbers, it seems, have a sneaky way of shaping our perceptions, decisions, and behaviors. They can make a price seem more attractive, a milestone more significant, or a discount more enticing. And while we may not always be aware of these influences, understanding them can help us make more informed, mindful decisions. Clearly, numbers carry more weight in our minds than we might initially think. Understanding the psychology of numbers not only offers fascinating insights but also empowers us. Imagine navigating your daily life, from the grocery store to your bank account, without a basic understanding of numbers or numeracy. It would be a challenge, wouldn't it? But numeracy is more than just arithmetic. It's about making informed decisions. It's about understanding the difference between a 15% discount and a discount of $15. It's about knowing whether it's better to invest in a savings account with a 3% interest rate or a stock that has grown by 10% in the past year. Our awareness of numerical biases can help us debunk myths and make better decisions. For instance, understanding that a product marked as 99% fat-free actually contains 1% fat can influence our food choices. As we've seen, numbers hold a fascinating sway over our minds, influencing our beliefs, decisions, and even our luck. So, what have we learned about the psychology of numbers? We've unwrapped the enigma of numbers, delving into the realm where psychology and numeracy intersect. We've explored the intriguing world of numerical superstitions, where numbers carry potent symbolic meanings that can influence our actions and beliefs. 13, 7, and 4 are just a few examples that demonstrate how we attribute such significance to mere digits. We've also examined how personal biases can skew our perception of numbers, leading us to make decisions that may not always be rational or in our best interest. The power of numeracy, on the other hand, empowers us to better understand the world around us and make informed decisions. Next time you find yourself attributing special meaning to a number or making a decision based on a number, remember, it's all in your head. But that's what makes it so fascinating, isn't it? Thank you for joining us on this intriguing journey into the psychology of numbers. We've navigated through the labyrinth of digits, superstitions, and personal biases, and we hope you found the trip as fascinating as we did. If this video sparked your curiosity, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. We're always diving into new topics, unraveling the mysteries of the world around us, and we'd love for you to come along. There's a vast universe of stories waiting to be told, and we're just getting started. So until the next video, remember, the world isn't just what you see, it's also what you make of it. See you soon.